raw vengeance today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Punishment upon the wicked, part one. like us to understand this morning that we are in the day of the vengeance of God. Jesus did not come to show vengeance. He did not come to manifest vengeance. He came principally to prepare for redemption. That was why he could tolerate everything that was happening. Peter brought out the sword. He said, Peter, put it back. Time never reach. He said, Peter, wait. That's not my assignment. When I finish, the person that will teach them a lesson will appear. I want you to know, vengeance started with the Holy Ghost. Isaiah 61. We're going to read two scriptures. May the Lord give studio wisdom to be smart. Amen. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord had anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim the liberty to the captives. And the opening of the prison to them that are bound. Verse 2. To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord. And the vengeance of God, of our God to comfort all, to comfort all that mourn. Verse 3. To appoint unto them that mourn in Zion. To give unto them beauty for ashes. The oil of joy for mourning. And the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness. That they might be called trees of righteousness. The planting of the Lord that he might be glorified. Now go with me again to Luke chapter 4. Luke chapter 4, we take it from verse 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel to the poor. He has sent me to heal the broken hearted, to preach deliverance to the captive and recovery of sight to the the blind, to set at liberty them that are bruised, to preach the acceptable year of the Lord. Now look at the next thing that happened. And he closed the book. Which means that other side is not my side. Are you seeing it? And he closed the book, meaning this is where my own stops. When I finish it, the Holy Ghost will come and start. If you don't understand the purpose of vengeance, you will remain a perpetual victim in the hand of the wicked. Many see vengeance as wickedness. But today we will know what is wickedness 
and who is an evil doer. Because we need to define it so that you will understand the tool called vengeance as part of God's measure to advance your life and enable you to see fulfillment of his plan. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 and verse 11. Because sentence against an evil work is not executed speedily, therefore the heart of the sons of men is fully set in them to do what? Who is set to do evil? So evil is resident in the heart of men. Evil is resident in the heart of men. The psalmist made us to understand that God is angry with the wicked. How many days? Every day, God is angry with the wicked. So if God is angry with the wicked, why are you happy with the wicked? I'd like to ask a question this morning. Why didn't God forgive Lucifer? Have you thought about it? Eh? Hear me well. There are some people that cannot repent. Witches don't talk of repentance. It's a rule in witchcraft, no mercy. Did you hear what I said? It is a rule in what? No what? One of my mentors said, only Jesus had the power to pray that prayer. Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. Did you hear what I said? Only Jesus could pray that prayer. Father, forgive them for they know not what they are doing. But now they know what they are doing. <laughs> eh? <laughs> now they know what they are doing. God is a God of mercy. Mercy is one of the natures of God. But I'd like you to understand also this morning, vengeance is also one of the principal nature of God. Vengeance. It's one of the principal nature of God. Nobody knows a man more than himself. And nobody can talk about God more than God himself. God himself introduced himself as the God of vengeance. He's a jealous God. He has emotions. And he can be moved and touched by our feelings. So when you understand his nature, you will not be angry that uh, he's talking about vengeance. Is he not interested that people should repent and uh, be saved? He's very, very much interested. But I want to let you know 
There are people. Say with me, there are people. Who have covenanted with Satan to abort God's plan and purpose for your life. And they are the people I am going to be releasing vengeance for today. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. Until vengeance shows up for you, the plan of God for your life may never be fulfilled. Until vengeance shows up for you, you may not be able to test the breakthrough appointed for you. Until vengeance shows up for you, the enemy may never give up. But today, somebody will give up. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. Yeah. So understanding this fact that God has vengeance in his nature. He said, I am the God that killeth and maketh alive. Who said it? I am the God that killeth and maketh alive. You may not enter your glory season if God does not take vengeance in your favor. That was why the psalmist cried out in the page that we read in the call to worship, O Lord, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Show thyself. O Lord, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Now, who are the doers of evil? Because we read in that scripture. Because a sentence against an evil work is not speedily executed. He said, therefore, the heart of the sense of man is said to do more evil. He's said to do more evil. Who is an evil man? And who is an evil woman? Please, studio, I'd like you to take that scripture back because we need to pick. No, no, no. Uh, Psalm 94. Psalm 94. Psalm 94. Jesus. To whom vengeance belongeth, O God, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Lift up thyself, thou judge of the earth. Render to what? The proud. Number one. Number two, he said, Lord, how long shall the wicked, how long shall the wicked triumph? How long shall they alter and speak? Hard things and all the workers of iniquity boast themselves. They speak hard things. They don't only do evil, they speak evil. So if you are a speaker of evil, you are a wicked man and you are a wicked woman. There are people that take delight in speaking evil about people. You are a winch. The only difference is that you have not started flying. <laughs> if you take delight in cutting your brother and cutting your sister, you are a wicked man. You are a wicked woman. And you, are, you deserve vengeance. Some they go to the point of not only speaking, they arrange to abort promotion, marriage, financial breakthrough. We call them spoilers. But I have good news for that person. Whoever has been spoiling you, 
spoiling you, blackmailing you, making you to be reproached in the, in the sight of people that will favor you. I will spoil you with the vengeance of God today. There are, uh, there are people that are anointed to do evil. They are not anointed to do good. Scripture says how God anointed Jesus Christ of Nazareth who went about doing good and healing all that were oppressed of the devil. All that were oppressed of the devil. I remember one sister, Ify, she was in our choir then. We had a vengeance service in 2010. After that service, something mysterious happened. She had a glass table like this in her parlor. Are you getting what I'm saying now? After service, on a hot afternoon, see maggots on top of the table. Where did the maggots come from? That same day, the old man that caged her marital destiny died. I want to say to someone here, whoever is behind your misfortune, they will go for you in the name of Jesus. I will have mercy on whom I will have mercy. And I will show compassion on whom I will show compassion. Hear me? It is God's sovereign right to determine who is shown mercy and who deserves vengeance. After Stephen was stoned to death, he pleased the Jews to take Peter and John. They locked them up. At that point, they said, eh, another one. They started praying. They started praying. I just remember one of my elder sister's friend. They killed her mother and they now came and wiped the father. She just carried her bag and relocated to the village. Seven days. O oh Lord, to whom vengeance belongeth, show thyself. Whoever is involved in the killing of this and this, Lord, I am not going back until vengeance answer for me. Guess what? As she was about running up her prayer, the God of vengeance started sweeping. He started sweeping. Vengeance will sweep the house of your enemies today. God of vengeance started sweeping and started plucking them. Nine persons dropped down dead in less than two weeks. Nine. Hear me? If you must fulfill destiny, you must be brutal. You, 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 have, been, you have been praying mumu prayer every time. Father, forgive them for they don't know what they are. Shut up! Only Jesus can pray that prayer. Because he was going to the cross, I'm not here to die for anybody. Are you here one saying that? If you are planning for me, I'm also planning for you. Let me tell you this, maybe you don't know. A witch can wipe you out and go and repent. Who lose? A witch can wipe you out and go and repent. Let me share this testimony that Luca has shared one time. They were organizing a send forth party for a young man. His name is Lai Wei. He was to travel abroad on scholarship to go and do, to study abroad. So why did we abuse him doing it in now? One of his um, relatives, who was an established winch, came and told him that um, between this abroad and your life, choose one. So he felt that she was drunk. That maybe she was talking under the influence of the alcohol that um, she was taking. Guess what happened? He didn't take any serious meaning to what 
the person said, just um, allowed it like that. So he traveled and uh, finished his course. He has rounded up his course. He just went to like swim. In the same place he has been swimming. So, you know, that spring now, you bounce and spin and enter water. He used his head, land, and that's how the thing poco. So they now brought him back dead. And funny enough, he knew the witch. Dr. Lucas said he knew the, he knew the girl. After the young man has died, she now came. I want to thank God. And God has saved my life. I'm no longer a bad person. I thank God for Jesus Christ. But somebody's destiny has been wasted. He said where he was, he was boiling like pepper. I want to say to you, whoever wants you to aspire will be wasted in your favor. If you are saying amen, say a better amen. We are going to take these three, we are going to take them three, three, because they are nine. First service, I will take three. Second service, I will take three. And third service, I will take three. Why will God take vengeance? Why will God take vengeance? Number one, vengeance is one of God's principal way he uses to save his people from the hand of evil men and evil women. Vengeance is one of God's principal way. One. He has many ways. Isaiah 35 and verse 4. That our fearful heart be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with recompense, he will come and save you. Is that in your Bible? Say unto them that have a fearful heart. Be strong. So tell your neighbor, be strong. Fear not. Behold, your God will come with vengeance. Even God with a recompense, he will come and save you. He said in another place, I will recompense with tribulation to them that trouble you. So everyone troubling you secretly, God will expose them with vengeance today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Fear not. Be strong. I will come. And I am coming with vengeance. Anyone troubling you that has vowed a vow against you, my prayer in this covenant day of vengeance, let the vengeance of God break forth upon their head. Amen. Say amen like a believer. Why will God take vengeance? Number two. It is one of the ways the Holy Ghost ensures the saints don't mourn. But enjoy comfort and peace. Isaiah 61, we'll take it again. Say to comfort all that mourn. God don't want you to mourn. To mourn means to lose something valuable, something precious, something irreplaceable. Isaiah 61. The spirit of the Lord is upon me because the Lord has anointed me to preach good tidings upon the meek. Yes. 
sent me to bind up the broken hearted to proclaim liberty to the captive and the opening of the prison to them that are bound to proclaim the acceptability of the Lord the day of vengeance of our God to comfort all that mourn to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion to give unto them beauty for ashes the oil of joy for mourning the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness that they may be called trees of righteousness the planting of the Lord that he might be glorified so God enforces vengeance to stop every plan of mourning Whoever wants you and your family to mourn, that arrow of mourning will backfire. Amen. If you are saying amen, say it better. Amen. amen. There are people that take delight in sponsoring arrows. Arrows of death. As if they will not die. Anyone sponsoring an arrow of mourning for you, for your family, the God of Oyereko visits their camp. Yeah. Sorrow and mourning will not depart from their camp. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. They delight to see your tears. They will continue to have sorrow in their camp. Say amen like a believer. Amen. Number three, why will God take vengeance? God delights in paying back your enemies in their own coin. God delights in paying back your enemies in their own coin by doing to them exactly what they have done to you. It's in the Bible. We are going to read it. It's not shouting amen. So anything you wish for me, get ready, you will see it. Anything they wish for you, get ready, they will see it. Jeremiah 50. That's why I laugh when I see evil men planning around. I know more than you. There's one law that cage you front and back, left, right, and center. Do not be deceived. God cannot be mocked. Whatsoever a man soweth, he said, that shall he reap also. If you are planning for my downfall, come and rise. If you are planning for my reproach, wait. You go see shame. The person we see what we call a baptism of shame. Isaiah 50, um, Jeremiah 50, verse 15. Studio, put it. I want, it, I want them to see it. So it is, you are undoing yourself by planning against another person. You are killing yourself when you make yourself an agent of the devil. When you are being used for an evil work. Shout against her roundabout. She had given her hand. Her foundations are falling. Her walls are thrown down. For it is the vengeance of the Lord. Take vengeance upon her. As she has done, do unto her. So whoever is doing you, my God will do them. Whoever is doing your family, my God will do them today. Whoever is doing your children, my God will do them today. Scripture cannot be broken. You can't bend scripture. You can't twist scripture only to your own advantage. When you look this side, also look the other side. Let's look at another one. Please take note of that scripture. Now another one, Esther chapter 7, we read verse 9 and 10. So whatever you do to someone, expect it to come back. Expect it to come back. Expect 
ability to come back. Paul was busy persecuting the church. Paul was the one that wrote the execution letter of Stephen. When Jesus called him, the first thing he told him, these things you will suffer for me. They stoned Stephen to death. Paul sees stone tire. Did he see stone? He sees stone. So as you are throwing stone, get ready, your stone they come. He said, these things you will do what? Suffer for me. They say people that live in a glass house, they don't throw stone at people. Esther chapter 7 verse 9. And Habonia, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold also the gallows, not one, fifty cubits high, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king, standeth in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him thereon. So they hanged Haman on the gallow that he has prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. Anyone digging your pits, they will enter by fire. Whoever has been digging pits for you secretly, by the fire of vengeance, I push them inside by force. Say amen like a believer. It's amazing that Haman was one of the principal advisors to the king. But it was time for judgment. It was time for vengeance. God said, that thing you planned for Mordecai, we are it. I say for someone here, whoever has been fighting God's plan and purpose for your life, they will enter vengeance today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Now, how do you steer of vengeance? We have known why God takes vengeance. Number one, to secure vengeance from God, you must possess a holy anger against the devil and his agents. You must possess a holy anger against the devil and his agents. Why? Whatever you tolerate is permitted to remain. You cannot secure vengeance if you are not angry with the wicked. If you are not angry with the failure experience you are going through, you'll be, you'll be consoling yourself one day be one day, God go do one. If you are not angry with the disappointment that you are going through maritally, you'll be saying one day be one day, God go do one. Maybe that one not be my own. But I want to tell someone here today, every wickedness, and every wicked agent of the devil on assignment against you, today is their payday. Yeah. I say again, today is their payday. Yeah. Number two, locate the right word of scripture and bring it forth. He said, produce your cause. He said, declare now that thy mightest be justified. Let's read Isaiah 41 and verse 21. Produce your cause, said the Lord. Bring forth your strong reason, said the Lord. Said the king of Jacob. So, there must be a cause. What is the strong reason? Lord, I have not done any evil to this person. I don't even know this person's house address. But yet, this person is sponsoring arrow for me. Oh God, rise up for me today. Execute vengeance. 
today whoever has been doing you secretly God will give them vengeance openly yeah. if you are saying amen say better amen. amen locate the right reason Lord I can't be on the same spot for five years I can't remain on marity 40 Lord this miscarriage must not continue Lord this family stagnation must not continue whatever and whoever is behind it your vengeance must show today your vengeance must show today just like that sister lord whoever is behind my misfortune let your vengeance hit the person she prayed that prayer and god struck today god will strike your enemies if you are saying amen say better amen, amen. number three believe send to your neighbor believe the efficacy of the word and the finality, finality of the prayer. Numbers 14 and verse 28, it says, I will do the very thing that I hear you say. I will do. I will do the very thing that I hear you say. And Jesus said, what in soever you desire, when you pray, believe, believe, believe. That you receive them and you shall have them. What in soever you desire. What in soever you desire. And Jesus said again in Luke chapter 18, I think verse 8 or thereabouts, He said, I tell you that He will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, shall He find faith on the earth? The widow was troubling the judge. Avenge me of my adversary. Avenge me of my adversary. He said to allow the woman not to weary her. God had to avenge her of her adversary. Now I want to tell you. As you stand on that prayer. God will answer you. Amen. Number four. Pray with intense seriousness. And persistence. That widow in Luke chapter 18 was persistent. She couldn't allow the judge to rest. You must avenge me of my adversary. And God answered her. I want to say to you, God will answer you today. Amen. Today will be the last day you will cry about that matter. Amen. Today will be the last day you will mourn over that matter. Whoever is behind your shame today, vengeance will strike them. Before we rise up to pray, we are going to read Psalm 35. That was a classic prayer of vengeance. Psalm 35. Plead my cause, O Lord, with them that strive with me. Fight against them that fight against me. Take up shield and buckler and stand up for my help. Draw out all despair and stop the way against them that persecute me. Say unto my soul, I am thy salvation. Verse 4. Let them be confounded and be put to shame that seek after my soul. Let them be torn back and be brought to confusion that divides my heart. Let them be as chaff before the wind and let the angel of the Lord chase them. Verse 6. Let their way be dark and slippery and let the angel of the Lord persecute them. Verse 7 now. For without cause, spores. For what? For what? For without cause, they have hid for me their net in a pit. Which without cause, they have digged for my soul. Go ahead now. Let destruction pause. Pause. That word led destruction. In other translation, it says, Let vengeance come upon him unannounced. And let his net that he has hid catch himself. Into that very destruction, let him fall. It tallies with Je um, Jeremiah 50, verse 15. Into the very destruction, let him what? The evil they desire for you, they will wear it today. Yeah. If you are saying amen, say better amen. Yeah. And that is why very shortly, 
enough is enough. You have suffered it enough. I, rem I just remember one testimony of one of our sisters. We prayed a prayer of vengeance. Someone told her in the village, not in the dream, in the physical. <laughs> you know the meaning of mechagin? After dealing with you, <laughs> you go see yourself. Guess what? She prayed with faith. Tell your neighbor, prayed with faith. And she knew it was settled. The mumu was on his way to worry. Guess what happened? That morning, they saw an oil. An oil is an evil bed. In their house in Jos. The bed could not fly. The sun came and used stick and hit the bed. They kept it in the bed until the bed died. That Mumu, Moto knocked him dead on the road. Whoever has planned for you, I stand on this altar of vengeance today. I reverse their plan against them. Say amen like a believer. Rise up to your feet. You are going to pray two hot prayers now. Studio put prayer one. Oh God of vengeance, arise for me. Execute vengeance against every evil personality sponsoring wickedness in my life. Are you ready to pray? Lift up your voice right now and begin to pray. Lago de Zinate, Jekututu, Rebo, Nado, Lia, Terialeta. Oh God of vengeance, arise for me. Execute vengeance against every evil personality sponsoring wickedness. In my life, execute vengeance for me against every evil personality. Whoever has vowed to undo me, whoever has vowed to undo my destiny, whoever has vowed to undo my wife, whoever has vowed to undo my children, God of vengeance, arise for me. Execute vengeance against every wicked personality doing me, sponsoring wickedness against me. Lei kao satale rashaka, benerio takateta, Jesus seliate, pedo rizeneko pareta. God of vengeance, arise for me. Execute vengeance against every enemy, every evil personality, sponsoring wickedness in my life. Let your vengeance cut them off. I prophesy. Let the vengeance of the Lord cut them off. Let the vengeance of the Lord cut them off. Peradia letara shapa. Nego, Jesus the Aleta, Irada Calebre Godo Shaganet, Eloberi Catoli Abena, Zegodo Berete, Any woman, Any woman that has vowed to undo me, undo the plan of God for my life. Undo the plan of God for my wife. God of vengeance, arise for me today. Smite them dead. Smite them dead. Smite them dead. As they have desired for me, do to them. Let their evil plans backfire. 
Let their wicked expectation backfire. Mele kru teko. Jesiza. Nerandia ketona. Jege lege rege dege rege dege dege de. Damage them by vengeance. Destroy them by vengeance. Wipe them out by vengeance. Le kotaka. Peli agodo. Ejune. Ezoketa. Whoever has pre-planned, conceived a wicked plan, an evil agenda against me, against my wife, against my children, against my family, against this assembly, God of angels, arise for me. By your vengeance, I decree today, let that personality be wasted. Let them swell up and die. Let them swell up and die. Let them swell up and die. Let go 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 Sponsors of reproach. Sponsors of blackmail. Enemies of my calling. Your time is up. Die. Die. By fire. Die. I command vengeance upon you. In Jesus name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. Prayer two. Prayer two. Angels of vengeance arise for me. Cut off every evil agent fighting the plan of God in my life. <laughs> there are angels of vengeance who one day, say with me, one day. And the angel went and wiped out 185,000. One day, one day. It's not that they were carrying our more tankers. One day, you are going to lift up your voice and pray. Any wicked agent, angels of vengeance, arise for me. Cut off completely any evil agent fighting the plan of God for my life. Lift up your voice and begin to pray now. Angels of vengeance. Angels of vengeance. Angels of vengeance. Angels of vengeance. Arise for me. Cut off. Cut off. Every evil agent. Fighting the plan of God for my life. Cut off. Wipe them out. Cut off. Wipe them out. Any evil agent fighting the plan of God for my life. Angels of vengeance, pick them now. Waste them by fire. Lift up your voice and pray. Jekote Kaleria, Jagalaga Regade, Ezuda de Ribano, Jagolaba, Ratolia, Pelatonda. Lega rega de luroba, lega rega, lega rega, lega rega de. Elo do do rica tona, gaga 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 ga. Rebo do 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 lega 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 de. Angels of angels, arise for me. Cut off every evil agent fighting the plan of God for my life. Cut them off. Angels of angels. Cut them off. Spare no one. Cut them off. Any evil agent fighting the plan of God for my life. Fighting the plan of God for my wife. Fighting the plan of God for my children. Fighting the plan of God for my family. Angels of angels, arise for me. Cut them off. Cut them off. Thank you, Father. 
Thank you, Father. In Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In Jesus' mighty name. Put your right hand on your head. I pray for you. On this unction. Meant for today. Whoever has vowed to keep you in tears. I prophesy. Let the person swell up and die. Let the person swell up and die. Any man or woman sponsoring wickedness against you, sponsoring blackmail, sponsoring shame, sponsoring reproach, swell up and die. Wherever the person is located, by the four winds of vengeance, let the person be wasted. Whoever has vowed a vow that the plan of God for your life will not come to pass, I release today the vengeance dagger of the God of Oyedeko against that terrible enemy in the name of Jesus. The strong man fighting your family. The strong man that has vowed that no one will be lifted in your family. The strong woman that has vowed that you will not marry. The strong woman that has vowed that you will not carry your baby. Die by fire! Die by fire! Die by fire! I release against every terrible enemy of your life. Let the angel of vengeance cut them off in the name of Jesus. Cut them off in the name of Jesus. Whoever is networking men to fight your rising, to fight your fulfillment, I decree, let the wind of death blow against the person today. If you are saying amen, say better amen. amen. Whatever has been signed, wherever they have taken your picture, whichever coven they have taken your name, to shoot arrow at you, whoever is their sponsor, whoever led them there, whoever is their evil high priest, vengeance of God, cut them off today. Vengeance of God. Wipe them out today. It is done. It is done. The embargo over your life has expired. The appointed new dawn prepared for you will manifest. If you are saying amen, say better amen. That plan to kill you. That plan for premature death. Backfire in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen. All eyes closed. All heads bowed. If you are here, you are not born again. The only way this prayer can work for you is for Jesus to become your Lord and your Savior. Wherever you are, inside and outside, put your right hand on your chest and say this prayer after me. Lord Jesus, I come unto you today. I know that I'm a sinner. Forgive me. Wash me with your precious blood. I reject sin. I reject Satan. Come into my life. Be my Lord. Be my Savior. In Jesus' name I pray. Congratulations. 